So one of the things that I'm really excited about this year using the Echo Dot Kids Edition is that you can use Blueprints very easily now. So that means all you have to do is go to blueprints.amazon.com and take a look at what's here. You have featured where you can start your own custom Q&A, chore charts where you can set up your classroom chore list, Whose turn is it? I would suggest if you're going to use that, use um, numbers for your students instead of their names. I just think that's a student privacy thing. Um, how many days until an important date in your classroom? Flash briefing. So this is the one I'm really excited about because you could create a daily or weekly flash briefing for your families because once you create this blueprint you can share it with your family so you could on monday morning say welcome to the week of whatever today is and this week don't forget that we are going on a field trip on tuesday we have testing on wednesday we have um pe on thursday so students need to wear their uh, tennis shoes on that day. And I'm noticing that a few kids are bringing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Remember, we're a nut-free school. Things like that. Things that you want parents to know and they're really helpful so that they can get to it exactly when they need it. Um, another really cool thing is this free time recommended down here. So you, it actually helps you um, create games and things for your students based on um, what they need to do. So what Blueprints does is it creates personalization for your class using that Amazon um, Echo, not just for the skills that are out there that are really great and getting better and better, but you're, you have the ability to create a skill just for you. So for instance, Let's just create one. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to choose custom Q&A. And so let's say I wanted to do a get to know me quiz, a get to know you quiz. So here I can look to see a sample of what it's like and how to use it. And then I click on make your own. And basically, it's like a template like you would use in uh, Google Docs or Microsoft Word where you went in and you just deleted everything was there because you liked the way the template was set up. That's basically what you're doing. So um, it starts with this. When you say, Alexa, um, who is the best mom? Um, and then you can add other ways that a kid. Sorry, I don't know that one. She's with me. Uh, and then I can then you can go in and you can answer it. So I might say, who is the main character in the book? Giving this one away. Or Or perhaps it's not that. Maybe we wanted to do what's the boy's name in the book shallow. And then I, you would go in and you would create the answer here. And you would just keep, so maybe I'm making it about this book. Maybe I'm making it about a student um, where students have to guess based on maybe feedback I got from that student. Who is the student of the day? And we're doing a question and answer so that we can learn more about each other. Lots of really cool ways to um, use these to just help in the classroom. And then within seconds, I'm going to create that skill. Obviously, that was not a good skill, but you get the idea of what this is like and how I can use it in the classroom. And once I've done it, I can go in and edit it. And I actually have the ability once it's created to share it with others as well. So if you're not using the uh, blueprints, start. I think it's going to be a great addition to what you're doing in your classroom with the Echo Dot.